Oh, you know, I have a funny, uh, actually a funny little rant going into this game about this concept. Uh, tell me, what's your goal with the game? Uh, probably to make plat. Um, I can consistently make gold every season and then I just kind of get stuck. So, okay. I don't know, improve in general. Varus, Jin, Ash, Kaiza, Jinx, <clears throat> Senna, Ezreal, Sivir. This is the whole fucking gang. The whole gang is here. Champion Ocean. Yeah. You cut that back. Stick to the main unless forced off of it. You're not going to get anywhere unless you obsess over... Oh, you know, I have a funny, uh, actually a funny little rant going into this game about this concept. You need to be so good at your champ, you know everything about it. I've been thinking okay. about this concept recently. So I was like, I got coached by Donnell on Hecarim. I've been coached by Solar Baka on GP and uh, Ari was legit Korean. All these people that have coached me on champions. You know what? One thing that has been constant is that these people know every fucking thing about their champion in many ways more than i know about the champions that i play in main i'm pretty sure if i asked some other trinomir guys about trinomir they would probably know some things that i didn't know some sort of interaction that i didn't know or something do you do right. you see where i'm going with this if i had you coach me on varus could you tell me every little fucking detail about this champion uh, probably not i would assume probably not probably yeah. not <laughs> exactly and th that's what i was gonna say was like you need to be a completionist like you need to think of this game in terms of like i need to master it's not enough to kind of like know what he does, right? Right. That's why it's important. What are you thinking about this lane here? Um, it's very poke heavy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna be kind of hard to. They have. I think they out sustain us too with Nami, versus mm -hmm. Senna, at least early. And then um. Do we always go press the attack? How do we? How do we land on that rune? Uh, I. Follow the, uh, the kind of like, how do I put this? Uh, I follow the, uh, the, uh, what's his name? Like the, one trick pony or something? Yeah. The number one virus player. And, uh, he Is likes you, it for you know his name? a lot. Yeah. Ice gay. How do I spell that? Uh, E I S U K E. I think he peaked masters last season. And then I think he's diamond one right now. We shit our HUD's really big. Let's get an auto on that Kate. If she ever walks into auto range, she should tank one. Or right, we've got a full mana pool. You should be firing at some point. It's fine. Looks like they're about to get two first. Reduce coming. I'd walk up. Walk up and bait. <clears throat> you won't die instantly. Walk up. Walk up. You'd be able to get that DPS off. See. My man. Now my only criticism here is that you weren't walking up very confident. And I'm not gotcha. a fan of that. One of the more frustrating things. You have E, you have Q, you should be using it. Okay, this push needs to happen. Harper's beat. My man! Uh, cool, we've got all these pots still, which is nice. Alright, let's get back out there. Move your camera around as you're walking back. Kogma jungle, huh? <laughs> Kali's going through it up there. I say push in. You have Udyr in their jungle. So start uh, bombing them with Qs. Yep. 
I don't believe you ever get ganked here because Udyr's in their jungle. Tsunami keeps walking up into auto range. So we need to get some autos. Okay, Udyr backed. So what I would do... I would go in ward because we could get ganked by Kogma. Pink goes in try. There you go. Land some poke there. Push hard. Guard your guard your pink. She cannot have it for free. She cannot. It's illegal. There you go. Okay, out we go. We got a Kogma coming. You got three pots, use one. Ah, uh, I walked into it. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Now, the first thing should have came was probably the flash for the bubble. I, I assume you were just trying to keep flash and scoot out. We have no sums. I really want to play on our side of the lane. <clears throat> I don't want to go anywhere near the, uh, the enemy bot lane right now. In fact, I would hope they would just push into us. You can sometimes sit like next to the cannon and what that'll do is that'll make them uh, throw a Q at you. So get in a line of the the wave and then see if she'll Q. Alright, he's coming. Let's walk up. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Uh, She's not going. She's hitting the ward. Careful. Oh my god. Could she be any worse? She's going in without charm, just FYI. Careful. She's trying to kill us all. Nice hit. Run away, run away. Passive. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> Jesus. You have six next wave. Yeah, walk up. You get six. I'm not convinced they can dive you. There's your six. Look at that. Look at that. Big fucking double Q. Kogma might come down here and try to R you, so just shove and leave. Reset. Nice 2v1. Thank you. What uh, item is this uh, dude that you've been copying normally doing? Shield bow? Uh, no, Gale. I'm, Gale. Yeah. All right, let's go. Get back out there. I'm hard shoving. <clears throat> you need to land some damage here. Need to throw some Qs. We're not afraid at all to hit tower with Kog'Maw top. Don't be afraid to try to squeak in autos too if they give them to you. Like really encroach. There you go. Hit tower if they back down. That's perfect. Pound the tower. All right, now back down. Push again. You want to keep them under tower. You can ult Caitlyn if uh, Sen is next to you. I pound the tower again. Don't be afraid. You need to be getting some autos in. Keep walking all crooked and shit. One more shove and then we'll reset. And take the reset. Hold. Oh, never mind. We're staying. Kogma's mid. Pound on tower. Hit a few autos. All right. One more shove. <clears throat> okay. 
Vagar's coming. So, yeah, yeah, it's all good. You should ult Vagar. Getting too close. Let's try. Oh, I don't have mana. Damn. The idea was solid, but yeah, overcommitting a bit to the kill. The ult needed to come on Vagar a lot sooner. Right. There's no need to handshake that 3v2. You're basically handshaking it by not trying to slow him down. Isn't Predator funny? Guy just wind sprints into our lane. Yeah. Press escape. Go to your interface. It's on the left. The HUD size, the first bar at the top. Put it at zero. Press OK. You have a newbie HUD. Okay. Slow push from here. Try to hit an R on Caitlyn or Nami if they walk up. Go for the all in. Okay. You have Gale, so we're going to try it. Okay. Gotcha. We got 20 seconds on it. This is okay. Nice. Keep slow pushing. Gives you a better chance to hit an R. Slow, slow push. Agma's here. I challenge him here. Oh. Yeah, it was unnecessary. I would have kept it. I'm not entirely yeah. sure I would have ulted even because it was even autoing. <laughs> like he was stoned out of his mind. We can sit back. We got our win. Relax. Auto and then click the tower after each minion that you farm. So just kind of like, yeah. Good auto back. There's no reason that a level 8 should be able to auto you for free. Alright. You have 1300 gold unspent. So... I think it's time. Well, what's going on over there with the NASA swivel? Move your camera on it. This fight sucks. Yeah, shove bot. Shove. We're chasing so deep. Do it quickly. Hit tower. You hit tower here. They're too deep. Look at them. Shove this whole wave. Is coming back. He is, but you're going to shove the whole wave. So cue it, E it, and leave. Now leave. Press B. Pray that Nasus doesn't walk down river here and try to catch you. Because we're going to go mid and try to fuck somebody up. <laughs> Just last hit here. I don't want to move forward for no reason. You have Gale to get away from the ganks. Shoving by ourselves seems dangerous. Right, let's sit back and relax. We could rotate around, yeah. Camera, get your camera on it though. Mm, yeah, stay bot. This guy could probably dive us. Hold tab. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of final boss level. Q. He's not confident enough to dive. That's good news for you. Because I literally, if I was him, I would have just walked up and dove you. <laughs> so, well, whatever. Go to Gromp while we wait. Uh, who is pathing there? Oh, true, yeah. Or is he? He's going to Dragon. <laughs> OK, 
Kite back, kite back, kite back, kite back. You're fine. All right, let's push. Push bot. Ravar's bow on the skin looks dumb as hell. What's up? The bow on the skin, it, it looks dumb as hell. <laughs> Red Q the whole wave. Let's get us out of here now, quickly. E. Want to reset. Doesn't seem like it's helping him too much to have taken those early towers. Uh, I'm not a fan oh. of the back cancel. I just told you the to play. Yeah, my bad. You have a huge spike. You don't want to fight with that much gold. Okay. It's not a good idea in general. Oh, let's go. I'm taking wolves here. Then go to mid and grab the wave. Okay, that's spooky-ish. Oh Ooh, God, nice try. Awful. You're fine. Nice. I would walk up and gale force auto this guy. Yeah, she's gonna do it. Oh, she dies. Dead. Yeah, push. Q and leave. Nessus might fuck you up. If he withers you, you're dead. You need to run. I, this guy has some sort of mental block with like aggressing champions. Let's go to bottom. Grab to bottom. Move quickly. Plant. Use it. We'll get our grump. <laughs> Push and get in this, uh, get in this brush quickly. They might go to Baron. Are they clever? No. All right, let's get out there. Oof. Yeah, I think she's dead. Oh, shit. I'd walk up. Clear and move. Clear that. Oh. Uh. Okay, this is gone without our without our team acting as secret service. Nasus has no ult actually, so he's a little out of line. Oh. Yeah, I keep cutting back. This is terrible. This is terrible. Clear the wave best you can. Oh god, we're getting fish spammed. E. Another Q, another Q fling it. Try to hit the rift, dude. The rift's gonna kill your fucking base. Nice. Get alt that. He's out of line. Nice. Good patience here on this. Keep hey, go poke them. Go poke them. Go poke them. Look at look where Udir is. Throw pink over the wall quickly. You need to go poke them. Listen to me. <laughs> Find them. Throw Q over this wall. You're not even trying. Like Udir was splitting that whole time. Okay. I will go to wolves in mid.
I'd shove mid here and go Baron. Assist ping, Baron. Assist ping, Udi, or assist ping, Baron. You gotta put it on his head, dude. This clicking accuracy is dog shit. Shove mid. The better you are at communicating, the more likely he is to do that. Push mid. We're not grouping here. It's a terrible yeah. idea. It's awful. We're literally just gonna hard lose this team fight. Hard shove with Q. Now we need to go up into the jungle towards wolves and then base because we might lose the fucking game with this split. Press B. Vote no. Fuck them. You gotta buy a stopwatch. Get your shop open and buy it quick. Uh, Who's in the shop? All right, clear the wave quickly. Now they get drag, shove top, and assist ping Baron. All right, go mid, assist ping Baron a bunch. I rotate through jungle. No, no, through jungle, through jungle. You don't want to show. Don't hit the ward either. I danger ping that ward. Who's going to be the dumb fuck? There's the dumb fuck. You see that? Get in the back of the pit on the pink ward. Stand on the pink ward. Alt this Nasus. Try to burst him. Good luck to our team, because if we don't kill him, we're going to be depressed. Just need to live here. Living's more important than anything else right now. Okay. Uh, we need to reset, I think. Get around the corner and reset. Get around the corner and listen. Just listen. Get around the corner and reset. It's fine. Jesus. Go left, go left, go left, go left. You might have to fight it out right here. Press B. Press B, press B. Keep running. Press B. Press B, stop trying to show everywhere. Press, press B in random bushes. Now grab a BF sword. Quickly, get out. Now fight it out. We gotta fight hard here. Careful. But you do need to you do need to make a stand here or we lose. You have a stopwatch, kite. Don't forget you have it. You got you got W as well. Huge defense, bro. Now, Nasus has ult, by the way. Just so you know, it, it's coming back because he used it earlier. Yep. Now push mid out. Polly's gonna feed, but what are you, you gonna do? Shove mid hard and then drop on Nasus. Vagar can catch us though. Be mentally ready to stop watch. Okay. Just kind of like mentally be aware that he could burst you. Good choice. I think the ult is correct. All right, press B by GA. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you gotta go Lord Schlongs. Get a red pot. And go top. Push hard. What's the dragon up? Uh, All right, you're gonna shove me. really hard. You're gonna shove really hard. Let's okay. go. Go red to top, actually. I'd go fight him. I'd go fight him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're never running. We're, we're challenging that. Go, go challenge. Okay, now, yeah. You're very cowardly there. That should be a kill. 100%. You should fight. You're level 16. Stop pushing out. You need to fight. You need to fight. Like, I don't know how else to say it. You need to fight. If you die, you have a GA. Yes. Now you have uh, a little opportunity to take a breather here. Okay, here we go. Alt this. No! Oh. 
so shitty. He did a lot more with his autos than I thought he would, yeah. sir. Yeah, no, well, you know, I, I'm i more concerned with you not stepping to the Nami sooner, if I'm being real with you. Okay. Because you let her just do her thing, even though she, I was telling you to go down and fight. It took me a long time to get you to, get you convinced that you win. Right. Hopefully the team holds up. You should be watching though. I don't know what you're looking at. You're looking at, are we disconnected mentally? What's happening here? You're doing well. Focus fuck up. Now is not the time to give up. Because you need to be collecting info. Right. We go to Dragon next. Okay. Sucks that our GA didn't get an ace or something out of it. But it happens. You need to get behind Udyr. You need to use okay. him as a front line. He's between you and their team. That's how we think. Okay. Okay. Wherever he stands, put him between... Okay, well, he's being kind of stupid here. Assist ping and take blue. Go fire fucking W's at them. Or, sorry, Q's, I mean. Careful, Nasus will rush you. You have a... Gale. Oh, okay. Hold this shit. Do not get comboed. You can kill the Kate. She's very squishy to you. Nasus can run us over. Kite back. You have Gale, though. There you go. You're fine. Wiggle. Put a blue uh, sweep over the wall. We got to see him. Kite it out towards you. Keep auto move, auto move, auto move. You're an ADC. There you go. Ah, oh, man. So, you're... Uh, I needed to talk you through that. I needed to talk you through right. it, though. So, the idea there is you're probably going to lose Dragon. Right? right? But you're going to kill him. So, you wasted the Q on... You should have swapped to him, and then you can get Baron. Right. Like, if you hold Tab, you're pulling him off of, off of Drag to get to right. the Baron next. Or, I mean, you could just back away and reset, which is a little awkward, or hide around a corner. That could have been cool. Kind of hard to communicate those ideas in the clutch, though. Gotcha. You're fine. Grabbing... Red Pot, yeah. I just assist ping Baron hard. They don't kill Udyr, that's huge. They use a lot to try. Nasus or Vagar's TPing. You should take red and be ready to try to steal Baron. All right, get ready to try to steal Baron again. Oh, ult him, ult him. He has no, he's the smite. You need to be more responsive with Gale. You're letting right. him just DPS you. You're not bursting him. You have Gale and heal. You could have clutched that out for sure. Yeah. You've already found out he does a lot of damage, so don't hold your damage. Right. Oh, they're not doing Baron, so it's defense. Counts. It counts! <clears throat> How much do we need for... Nice. Ten. This is huge. This <laughs> guy, this fucking Kog'Maw is, uh... I don't know how he's getting away with the Comet Jungle Kogma, but he did it. <laughs> Alright, clear the wave quick. Be prepared to leave if you get jumped on. They do have a big wave after all. Yep. 
Team's AFK. Just wait. Is this Ping Udi or something? I don't know what he's doing. Okay, they're going to go to Baron. Oh, no, they're not. Clear wave, clear wave, clear wave. Responsibility, clear wave. I don't want damage. I want the wave cleared. Then you can ult Nasus if you can clear the wave. Oh, that would be your spot to fling that shit. You need to clear the wave and look to ult right off of the clear. That's your best bet. Oh, how, how are they allowed to do that? How are they allowed to go under tower and not get ulted? Clear wave. Oh, uh, yeah. Go to fountain, 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 or you're dead. Okay. Clear the wave again. Nice. Nice try. That was a bullshit hitbox. Alright, nothing you could do about this Akali. Oh my god, our GA is up, but... It was a good try. Honestly, that yeah. was a pretty solid attempt. My major criticisms come late game. You do this awesome defense, right? We have Baron. We finally defend. We finally make a stand. Our team's been getting shit on the whole game. We finally do it. We finally close the gap, right? Right. All right, remember that. Because this is where you started flopping. We get all of our money on the map. We just bought, we have GA. Now watch what you do. Look at Nami. Look at Nami's level. Right. It took way too much goading to get you to fight here. How fucking big do you need to be before I you're confident? I didn't honestly know I was that big. Well, then that's... There you go. Well, that's part of the problem, right? How do you not know? Uh, I know I wasn't dying a lot, but it felt like we were losing every team fight, so I just didn't really think... How do you tell if you're big or, big or not? Probably levels and items. Exactly. Comparisons. Yeah, yeah. so tab, levels, yeah. So you go, whoa, I'm huge. And then you look, right. and Nami's level 12. Look, see how you back down from her, even though I told you to move up? Watch. This was a big red flag. Now, here's the takeaway, and this is why I wanted to go over this spot, because it's a good learning opportunity. How aware... I mean, I know I'm coaching and yelling at you to do things. How aware were you of this situation uh, when you're leaving base? Let me explain. All right. Right. Now, you've reset. Okay. When you leave base, what do you normally do? Uh, when I leave base, I look at what's on the map, uh, look at objectives that are spawning, and then yep. try to path to, uh, There's one thing you're missing. Arm and... Oh, death timers. Or who's alive. Okay, that's a big important piece here that you're not getting. You're holding tab, not only to see, like, what everybody's level is, where you're at, you're, you're... This game, like I tell everybody, it's information gathering game. Right? It's an information collection game. Collect information as much as you can. You need to make informed decisions based on your knowledge of your champion. I would suspect you've played this champion a lot more than me. You have a general idea of your champion's uh, damage capability and all that, right? A general right. idea. But the big thing here is that you need to be looking and thinking to yourself, well, right now, this guy's gone and this guy's gone. The only people that are standing level 12, level 12, level 13, okay? That's the only people that are up right now. This means that you're god mode, but only if you play like it. <laughs> right? Right. This is the part of the game where you have to be willing to, to kind of just throw your dick into the middle here and just be like, all right, I have the biggest dick. It's decided. You understand? Yes. Or biggest clit if you're a female, I suppose. <laughs> right? So... Right. <laughs> the key here, the key here is understanding. Look, I, I'm making you move up. I'm having you, you got the info. You saw it. I know you saw it. Your camera work wasn't that bad. But yet, yeah, watch. I'm like, hey, go kill this Nami. Watch you. See? 
It's a missed opportunity. You should be... She can't know you're here right now. I mean, right. I, okay, well, she does know you're here, but why is she still walking at you? <laughs> right. You have red buff. You're level 16. I mean, it's just... it's Even if they're all three together, I would still challenge. Because I know that you have Gale Force. I would still challenge. I would step right into them and I'd be like, all right, motherfuckers, let's battle. I bought GA. It's over. Like, I, I'm I'm either fighting you guys right now or I'm fighting another sh fucking team fight again and I'm not doing that. Do you understand? Yes. I'm basically saying I would rather die right now trying to kill you and win the game than wait for another team fight. Okay. Does all that make sense? Yes. Crap. So you walked in. You hesitated quite a bit. Then you hesitated again, right? See, you should have just walked right at her. Then right. you get to mid finally. And I'm like, hey, fight. You hesitate again. Then you fight. But it didn't look very confident. Now you're finally in it. But it just, you know, it didn't play as good as it should have. And the reason is you keep backstepping and not stepping through like you win. Okay. Here. This, at this point, this guy is just huge. I think max range ult would have been optimal here versus the Kog'Maw. Right. So here, what I would have done, instead of face tanking him, ult him and then sidestep. Because you know he's always going to do this. EQ. And then ult me. So if you'd ulted and then go at him and then sidestep, you win hard. You, you, you got that? Um, this was the biggest, like, you could have won moment in this game. Everything up until this point, I'm actually not that disappointed in, to be honest, in terms of, like, a singular performance. I like this game a lot. You had good farm. You were in a tough spot, tough game, with tough opponents, with a champion that isn't, like, a great 1v9 champ, in my opinion. He's not great. So you, you held up, man. You held up. You just have to recognize when you're big enough to, to finally make it. We've been, we've been turtling up for a long time. This is the spot where you start thinking about taking a stand. You've got the GA. You've got the red buff. You've got the level lead, right? All those things add up. Um, there's something else here at the end. I believe it was after the... It was the goofy... When I yeah. died to Kogma, yeah, uh, at the Baron, yeah, because, yeah, you were in a really good position here as well. You played this okay. Kogma makes a misplay, but he didn't die for it, which is a shame. So right here, auto should have been. What the hell happened? Did you not get W off? I don't think you did. I guess you don't have crazy stacks there, do you? Um. I had, I think I had two stacks when I hit him with my E. So what so should have happened? I... Full combo, Gale Force, and then you could contest Baron Steel. So right. here's what my brain was thinking when I saw Kogma. Just so, right? If you're not keeping up with the with the fucking flow of the game here, this is where you, this is how you need to think. If he's doing this, he now can no longer get Baron without a 50-50 if he dies. Right. So your brain immediately should shift into just pop this guy and then they're fucked. They don't feel good about baroning. Got it? Yes. That's why you needed to just combo Gale Force and then back up into this fog of war again because you have the vision here. And then you go ahead, let them try. And then as it gets low, start poking your nose up again. Because what you did here, ducking behind the vision, was actually like really good. That's why you were able to find him because you weren't just sitting on the on the wards. See? Right. That was good. So, uh, yeah. I, I think here, if you were a little fat... Like, the problem is, like you said, you keep getting hit by this full rotation. Right. But if you'd quickly popped them and snuck back out, they could not have done Baron happily. It would have been shit for them to try.